Hi there. If you're a woman over 45, welcome to the craziest but also most complex time of our lives. As you might know, this middle-aged phase comes with its own challenges as we transition from feeling young, needed and being busy with family life into this crazy menopause state, probably children leaving the house and often career changes, but definitely massive body changes happening for all of us, but also amazing possibilities. However, there are also stereotypes and expectations that we must push back against. So here are a few things I've stopped doing now that I'm older than 45. Stop pleasing everybody else. It's time to stop being a people pleaser and do everything for everybody else and make sure everybody likes what you're doing and match all the expectations that society, your boss, your family, your partner, your parents, everybody has of you and just really have a sit down and think what you want to do for yourself. Let's face it, we're halfway through our lives. So if we don't start now to actually do what we really want to do and stop worrying about what the rest of the world wants us to do, we don't actually have that much more time to do that. So forget about all of these people. Obviously, make sure you look after who you need to look after or who you want to look after, but don't change for them. And politely inform people that this is not what you would like to do today and you're going to do something else. <laughs> it is important to be true to yourself. Most people will appreciate you better when you're relaxed and authentic rather than being stressed and trying to put on a facade that is just not you. Stop putting yourself down. Stop thinking you're not smart enough, beautiful enough, rich enough, tall enough, short enough, thin enough. You name it. There's so many things that we keep telling ourselves as women that we are not enough. And probably no one else really cares. And most people don't even think about you for longer than three seconds. So stop worrying about what everybody else is thinking about you and be true to yourself. We all have flaws and imperfection and that's okay. Try to accept yourself for who you are and to definitely love yourself for who you are because I'm pretty sure there's lots of people out there that see who you really are and love you exactly for those flaws that you think are absolutely horrible. So let go of what everybody else wants. Let go of all the shame and all the critical thinking and just embrace your crazy, imperfect little self. Stop fearing change. Change is inevitable, especially as we grow older. As human beings, we really dislike change or at least too much change. I personally don't mind a little bit of, I'm quite happy to go on new adventures and change is something that can be exciting, but a lot of people do not like big changes. But the thing is, as we get older, changes in our bodies, minds and priorities are just growing bigger and bigger and we can't do anything about it. We can work on our mind, we can work on our bodies, but let's face it, it's going to happen. We're all going to get older. It's all going to get more saggy and our mind is going to be all jumbled up by menopause symptoms. And yes, the only way through it is to just go with it and hope for the best. The world around us is also changing at a rapid speed. And the older we get, the harder it is to adjust. Um, especially technology has come so far in the last even two years. Just think about all the AI functions out there. I remember hearing about ChatGPT for the first time, maybe last year, and never thought twice about it. These days, it's just there and it's just a tool that you can use if you need it. And same with new iPhones, new watches, new laptops, you name it. Don't get me started talking about cars. I still like to have a car where I just put my um, key in and it runs and I don't need 5 million other functions in it. But yeah. It's coming, it's coming fast. It'll get faster and faster, I believe, with technology. So embrace it, hope for the best. Educate yourself if you need to in certain areas. But other than that, go for a ride and hopefully enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And lastly, and this is probably the hardest point, is to try and control your brain. Especially in perimenopause and menopause, this can be quite tricky. Anxiety, depression are on the rise. Our hormones are going crazy. And so negative thoughts can come in very quickly. So try and learn to control those thoughts and find positive outlets for that dark energy. Learn to control those darker thoughts and navigate them towards more positive and happy experiences in your life. I personally enjoy going camping a lot. So every now and then when I just feel like the clouds are getting a little bit darker, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with life, um, a little bit anxiety comes in. I often just take myself out I organized the camping setup that I can do by myself. So I would just go out on a little adventure, go out into nature, do nice walks, find great bakeries, have a nice treat. And uh, yes, 
usually after one, two nights away, I come back really refreshed and all those darker thoughts are definitely gone and I'm all happy and positive about life again. So find what works for you, put yourself out there and find things that bring you joy. So what other things would you add to this list? Are you over 45 and have some other ideas that we should stop doing to please everybody else? Let us know in the comments. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful day.